Have you ever wondered what it takes to check a set of valve clearances? Well on the bench today I've got a Triumph Speed Triple that's in for just that. I removed the plastics, tank and airbox to get access to the rocker cover. The coils, throttle cables and all wire and harness connectors need to be removed to get access. Now I clean and blow off all the surrounding area to make sure no dirt will drop in the rocker cover once it's removed. I can remove the bolts and then slide the rocker cover out. The engine is turned over to top dead centre on cylinder number one and I can check the clearances. They are all well within spec, so I can move on to the next cylinder by turning it over and lining up the timing marks. With this bike, all the clearances were well within tolerance, so I get the rocker cover mating surface all cleaned down and it's ready to go back together. Just a dab of silicon in each one of the cam load prevents oil leaks from the rocker cover. With the rocker cover being torqued back down, I can reassemble all the components in reverse order. If the clearances were out of spec, I would have needed to remove the camshaft to get access to the shims, but this bike didn't need it. 